so you'll know first. This is First Alert Weather. Now, I've been enjoying the weather so much this week, I haven't even been paying attention to what the weather's going to be like for everybody on Saturday. It's looking pretty good, you know, although they may not make the trip to D.C. in person, you know that place is going to be rocking. This is what, at a Union Station, correct? Is that what's happening? But jackets and sweatshirts, 61 degrees by 5 o'clock, 7 p.m. Cool breeze, 57 and by 9 o'clock, more clouds and 52 degrees. That's the way it's looking. That's the watch party here on Saturday. We have some clouds right now. They're pretty thick. That's keeping the temperature down a little bit. I mean, if we had total sunshine, obviously it would be warmer, but this is a typical for this time of year. 62 is about what you'd expect. Cloudy skies, humidity at 38%, east winds at 15 miles an hour. But as our meteorologists in the morning were talking about, Nick and Katie, yeah, the sky may look threatening, but that humidity is so low that a the raindrop has no chance of making it all the way down to the ground before drying up. 60s, 62 Parkville, 60 Leavenworth, 60 in Excelsior Springs and also Lee's Summit, 60 also down toward Gardner, Tonganoxie 62 degrees, widening it out. Odessa, you've got 63 degrees right now, 59 though in Marshall, 58 in Trenton, and the lower 60s as you're heading on the Kansas side. Here's a look at first alert clouds and radar. Wispy, I know it looks thin here, but it's fairly thick, at least as you saw on the City View camera. Not that much daylight's getting through. It'll be an overcast condition for us. But out to the west is a little more texture. That's reminiscent of a little bit of rain that could be forming that should stay well out to the west of Kansas City, which is why we're having zeros here. Not really thinking we have a good chance of rain. And our temperatures will continue to drop through the 50s. By 8 o'clock, we'll be at 55 degrees. As you know, the sunset. Yeah, it's getting earlier and earlier. By 10 o'clock, 51 will be the temperature then. Low temps by, say, tomorrow morning. 43 Tonganoxie as well as Shawnee. Overland Park starts at 44. 41 in Liberty. Blue Springs, you'll start at 41 also. Lee Summit 2 in Grandview at 42 degrees. Lows across the region as we'll see clouds in the first portion of the day and then sunshine in the afternoon. 40 Maryville, 38 Trenton, 39 in Hiawatha. So a cool start. Jackets for sure, that east and northeast wind will come in and turn a little more to the southeast throughout the day. I still think primarily an easterly direction. That's another reason it's not going to warm up that much. 12 hour forecast has it going up at least to 62, about like today, with the clouds leaving and sunshine returning. And the weekend is looking dry for the most part. As a matter of fact, our temperature is going to stay about the same and chances of rain really not that great at all. There is one exception to that rule that comes in on early Sunday. And it's only a sprinkle or a light shower Then the rest of the day and the rest of the weekend. Looks like it should be pretty dry too. 40s in the morning across the board, 64 on Saturday, 62 on Sunday. Halloween on Monday, look at that forecast. 42 in the morning, the daytime high 67. For trick-or-treating, I think it'll be back down to 59 degrees. On Tuesday, up to 73, warm also on Wednesday. Thursday, not too bad either, 68 above normal. Then a dip comes in, chance of rain on Friday, cooling down on Saturday. Highs back down to 58 degrees then.